Okay, let's now take a look at the size of the atom before we move on to the ion. The size of an atom is governed by the size of an electron cloud. The two factors that determine the size of the electron cloud, one is actually the nucleus. The larger the number of proton, the higher the nuclear charge. Nuclear charge is an exam marking scheme term, so you need to bear that in mind. And the more fully filled inner electron shells, the larger the shielding effect or screening effect. Shielding and screening effect is also a marking scheme phrase. So the final term in the marking scheme phrase is the effective nuclear charge. Effective nuclear charge is no more than just the net force. Meaning to say, you can think about it in terms of like the nuclear charge subtracting away the shielding or the screening effect. So let me illustrate with an example how we use these three factors for us to explain how the atomic size of an atom decreases across the period, as you can see down here. So the first thing to look at in order to conclude about whether the shielding effect increase or decrease, we will always have to write the electronic configuration. So that is the correct presentation technique to do. Write an electronic configuration, and more importantly, highlight the fact that the electrons in the fully filled inner electron shells are the most effective in providing the shielding. Meaning to say, if you have sodium, which is a period three element, the outermost electron resides at period three, or the third electron shell. And similarly, all the way up to argon, the outermost electrons are all in the third electron shell. So in this case, only the electrons in the first and second electron shells are responsible or are most effective in providing shielding or screening effect. So as you probably can see, when you move across the period, the shielding effect is generally the same because all of them has two fully filled inner electron shells. Why the term generally? Why not just say the same? You have to say generally because within an electron shell, as you probably remember in our earlier chapter, you will realize that there are also subshell. So you could actually have a 2S subshell followed by a 2P, which means actually if the 2S is fully filled, it will also offer some form of shielding. But those shielding effect is less significant for now. All right? That factor will come into play subsequently when we go into the next uh, chapter. The other factor is also that you could also have the fact that you have an orbital, but there are two electrons inside. And in this case, this will also provide some repulsion forces, which also add on to the shielding effect. Again, this factor is insignificant for this part. Okay. So in summary, the first presentation pointer that you need to cover when being asked to comment about size of an atom is to look at it from the perspective of electronic configuration and then concluding whether shooting in fact increase or decrease. So to recap across the period, shooting effect is generally the same because in the period three elements, all of them has the first and the second electron shell fully filled, which are providing shielding. When you go from sodium to argon, all of them will increase by an additional proton as, the, uh, as you move across the period. So in this case, it is quite clear that nuclear charge increases. And if your nuclear charge increase and your shooting effect is more or less the same, obviously your effective nuclear charge increases. And therefore, the electrostatic attraction force by the nucleus of the electron cloud increases, and that will lead to a smaller atomic size. With that, let us take a look at down the group. If you look at down the group, all of them, you can see the size of the atom actually increase. All right, let's take a look at the, uh, uh, the reason. Okay, if you now look at the electronic configuration for the group two elements, you could see that in the case of beryllium, all right, it has actually the 1s2 that will be providing the shooting effect. In the case of magnesium, you have all these electrons that is providing the shooting effect, okay? While in the case of calcium, you will have all these electrons that are providing the shielding effect. So quite clearly, the shielding effect increases due to fully filled inner electrons. Nuclear charge, however, also increase. But what is critical is that one need to know that when the nucleus is here, 
your outermost electrons are actually being placed further away as you go down the group. So you can see that the attraction force would actually be weaker because it's further away from the nucleus relative to the shielding effect because the shielding electrons is actually closer to the outermost electron shell. Hence, this statement help us to present that argument. Outermost electron occupy increasingly larger electron shell that's further away from nucleus. So this point allow us to conclude that the, new, the factor in the nuclear charge is less significant because as I said, the outermost electrons is going to be further and further away down the group from the nucleus. So if the nuclear charge, increase in nuclear charge is less significant than the increase in shielding effect, then the effective nuclear charge actually decreases. And from there, you can conclude that weaker electrostatic attraction, uh, uh, there's weaker electrostatic attraction on the electron cloud, and hence the atomic radius increase. Now let's take a look at the size of an atom and that of a, the ionic size of a cation or the cationic size. In the case of Mg and Mg+, plus, as uh, seen here, we could see that the, both of them has the same shielding effect because it's offered by the first and second electron shell. Therefore, because of that, shielding effect is the same. However, you can argue to say that Mg+, plus has got a larger effective nuclear charge. You can jump straight to that. The protons number, although it's the same, but Mg+, plus has larger number of protons than electrons. So this will cause this will lead to a stronger electrostatic attraction force on the outermost electron cloud. And therefore, you have a smaller ionic radius for the cation as compared to the size of an atom. We continue now to look at the size of an atom and an anion. By now looking at the electronic configuration, we will find that the shielding effect is offered by the fully filled first electron shell. So therefore, again, you have the same shielding effect. But in this case, you have fewer number of protons than electrons for F-, minus, which means F- minus have a weaker lower effective nuclear charge and therefore a weaker attraction force on the electrons. So you end up the anionic size or the anion, the F minus will have a larger ionic radius than compared to uh, uh, fluorine. 